We have Gigi in the house, so let's bring her on board. Hi. I am a hot Hi. mess today. Hi. You're a hot mess. Yeah. That's okay. I'm at my construction site. Okay. So what do you got for me? And just remember, so I'm have, pretty hard on people. That's okay. Let's have some fun. I met a guy on Millionaire Match a week ago, and we've okay. been back and forth. And we've talked on the phone. He's okay. been very honest with me. He's in a situationship and he doesn't want to be. And then he invited me to join him in New Orleans at an event okay. that he's attending. Should I go? So he's currently in a situationship with someone else. Okay, so right. um, and and now I would ask: Does this person know they're in a situationship, or does the other person? Uh, in other words, if if does the person know they're in a situationship, or is it just you? It's it's uh, a, Gigi, you disappeared. Oh, okay, there you are. Um, my my point is: is first to determine if he's in integrity. Does the other person know they're in a situationship? That would be something I would ask him. Um, you're frozen, right? Oh, there you are. Okay. Number two, um, why okay. would you, why are you interested in someone who's in a situation? Let me ask that question. So we were talking before he told me about the situation and in just in conversations, he doesn't want to be in it. Um, and I have a whole list of questions that I want to ask him when I finally meet him face to face. And one of them is, why are you in this situation? How long have you been in it? And does the other person know that she's in a situation? Yeah. And so, can, so he you just... give, can he give her can he give her up? Because I will, and I've already told him I don't want to be in a situation. I don't want to be friends with benefits. And if he's not willing to give that up, we're done. Yeah. So um, it's interesting because you asked me. You asked me originally, your original question was, should I go meet him? But you've already right. said, when I meet him, I'm going to ask him these things. So you're not really asking me my question, asking me whether or not you should meet him. Okay. Well, now, I, I if you did, if you when, were genuinely when, asking me that, and I okay. doubt you're going to listen to my advice, I would say oh, I run, will. Forrest, run. Okay. But I don't think you're going to okay. listen to me. And let me tell you what I think okay. is going to happen. You're going to meet in New Orleans. You're going to have a couple cocktails at some point. You're going to have physical intimacy. Then you're going to set, go your separate ways and he'll have some excuse why he can't see you again. I say that with about an 80% certainty that that's most likely. And I know I'm. you might be thinking, well, Jonathan's using reverse psychology on me or I, I won't sleep with him. But trust me, if there's physical attraction, it is, I mean, let me put it to you this way. He will most likely try his hardest to sleep with you. Well, that drops to 50% because he didn't drink. He doesn't drink. Okay. So it would just, well, yeah. Alcohol just makes, you know, there's, uh, what was that line in the movie? I, I uh, alcohol drops their inhibitions. Oh, it was in, uh, um, it was in uh, Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. So anyway, all the advice on the bulletin board says run, run, run. Uh, I've given you my advice, but I have a feeling okay. it's deeper. I think, I think this is a deeper question of why are you even interested in somebody who's unclean? There's no, he's not clean. He's got dirt. He's, he's dirty right now. I don't mean that. I, I don't mean that his character. Okay. I'm just saying he's involved with someone else. So what in you is attracted to a person that isn't rather clean. And I, again, when I say clean, I don't mean, you know, I just mean he's, un, he's, he's, tangled with somebody else so it's a red flag and i was interested in him before i knew that so it's not like i got interested because of that i so say it one it more time you what you what i said well, i was about, interested about, in I would just tell you, most self-respecting women and i don't mean to characterize yeah. you is not self-respecting. A true woman of her sovereignty, her self-worth, her self-esteem, her self-respect, 
would say, you know what? Thank you for being so transparent with me. I really appreciate your honesty. That takes a lot of bravery because a lot of men won't be honest. I will tell you that that doesn't align with my value. One of the fundamental values I have when getting to know someone is I like to date one person at a time. So if a person is, is dating multiple people, I don't feel that's very clean. I think the, self, the respectful thing to do is let this person know that you're going to exit out of this relationship. And then I might be interested in meeting you in the future. I might be interested in meeting the future. But right now, I, I don't feel comfortable because that, that is an alignment to who I am as a person. Well, that conversation will happen. And there will be no well, sex. Well, you'll have to report and I back to, to New us. Orleans. What's, what's that? Well, I understand. You know, the thing is, is right now, most people are significantly lonely. I'm not suggesting that about you. I'm generalizing here. And because of that, this is a nice vacation. It's an opportunity to step out of your zone. You're welcome to do whatever you want, Gigi. I'm here to say this. Right. Um, but it's also a reflection. If you're willing to accept a crumb, it's really a sign of more individual work you may want to consider for yourself. That's just an observation off the cuff. You know, you take that for what it's worth. But I'm, I'm only accepting a crumb if I let him into my life. You just, the minute you meet him, you've let him in your life. The fact, right now he's in your life. Don't, don't, don't misinterpret. He's already in your life. He's occupying space. You guys, show me your text messages. I bet it's that, 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 that. Um, you know, uh, so he's in your life. He's already in your life. He's occupying real estate. Hmm. Well, G I'll, I'll Perry Sky says, Gigi, I have higher standards. I mean, no disrespect. I've been where you are. She, folks, I've been where she is, so I get it. It's human nature how, because you've got a wide how, body. How many men are online and you start a communication with them and then you find out they're married, they're not divorced, they have a serious relationship? So how many people are truly clean online? And if you want someone truly clean, then don't get online. Well, first off, um, yeah, we all, okay, there's no doubt we all have a residue, you know, from our past. I, I would say, you know, it's, right. the question is how many, the question isn't how many people are truly clean. That's not the question because we live in an emotionally dysfunctional world, um, yourself and myself included, okay? With that said, the minute somebody demonstrates a red flag, um, in this particular case, for me, that's a deal breaker. Okay, there's a difference. That's not a red flag. Red flag means ask more questions. For me and most everybody watching, they're going to say this is a deal breaker for them. So it's and and you might I, I recognize you might say, well, Jonathan, this is the pool I'm dealing with. But when you make a stand for your sovereignty, when you make a stand for your self love, I'm gonna actually read. This is so ironic because I did a post today on Instagram. I have to read this to you because this totally illustrates this. The the meme says, by the way, folks, I'm just gonna switch screens here for a second. The meme says. You bring a lot to the table and it's okay to act like you own your worth. That's what the meme says. And I want to read to everybody what I wrote, okay? And it says, in the dating marketplace, many humans settle for a warm body instead of the right person. Lack of self-love is often the culprit because most of us were never taught to embody healthy self-esteem. While there, may, while there are many who have an exaggerated sense of self, which is attractive at first, to those who are slightly lacking, the way to break free is to make a stand for your sovereignty. There is no accident I posted this. There's no accident you're on here, and there's no accident you should have been listening to this. There is no accident. God, universe, spirit, as I call Gus, wanted me to share this with you. And you're given an opportunity to make a stand for your sovereignty. And I'm here to say, if you meet them, you know, what's the old expression? You know, fool me once, shame on me, fool me, no, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. 
You already at now, you're already aware okay. of this information and you're still going out to see him. That's fool me twice. Um, but I know you'll I argue know. against me. I know you'll argue against me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing against you. I'm taking it under advisement. Okay. Because hey, I'm, I'm not the one settling. I'm not the one settling for the warm body. He is. He's settling for the warm body. So there's something wrong with his self-love and, and sovereignty, which is a point to consider. Bravo. <laughs> Gigi. <laughs> can I well, reach I into the... All right. Oh, yeah, Thank absolutely. you, Gigi. Give me a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. Christmas. Happy holidays. Christmas. Happy holidays.